quite into cooking from a young age, uh, cooking with my nan, my mum, sort of in the family, going down generations, that's how I started and I wanted to make it a career of mine. Uh, and what we really wanted to do is develop a, a people plan or a talent pipeline which starts working with schools, develops through an apprenticeship programme and then progresses on into management roles in the future. And this is a real critical part of that development, it's the linchpin, the bit which sits in the middle. So it's all about developing young people, um, giving them the skills that they need not only for their day-to-day -day jobs but to become our future leaders and our future managers. I've always been like had a real interest in food and cooking and my family they've got a catering business so I really wanted to do something that involved cooking and was very hands-on and something that I could, yeah, enjoyed. The difference between working at the Hedgehog and working at school is that you're going to have more of a profession working with the more experienced than the like younger generation because now you're going to be um, more hands-on and you be doing more practical work than if you were at school you're doing more theory than anything to be fair so it's definitely more of an opportunity for anyone out there who wants to do it. I joined the scheme because I felt that it would be a good opportunity for me to uh, learn on the job and I prefer being hands-on and being practical within my job. In school is at school you've got these same hours and you get really repetitive every day whereas in like in a job or an apprenticeship you're getting the same amount of education but then you're also, you're not only this fixed like uh, nine to five every day, it's, you know, it's more like flexible around so you, it, it doesn't get as repetitive. Exciting uh, project in, in, in view of the fact that we've uh, never recruited 16 year olds uh, uh, before, it's always been over 18s. Uh, so we've closed the door really on, on a potential uh, market of great young people to recruit. Um, I got involved in this programme because I was being frustrated about interviewing chefs that had lots of knowledge um, about the industry but none about um, sort of volume food and, and the presentation and speed of service that we have to provide. So it was frustrating to find that you could interview a dozen chefs and not one of them would fit the criteria. Uh, with an apprentice you can pass on the skills that I've learnt myself to someone else and then they can uh, use it to develop their career as well. I think I'll enjoy mentoring Jake because I'm passing on my years of experience to tomorrow's future. Over the next three years we're going to take the apprentices through the, a three year programme to develop their capability to become really great head chefs. So in year one we're going to focus on how they become really great chefs, practically delivering our menu, our food offer. In year two we're going to spend some time developing some of their management competencies and processes. In year three we're going to really develop how they can manage, develop and support people in businesses uh, to build a really great team. Bit of working for Mitchells and Butlers is there's so many opportunities to develop yourself and go further. And you can start off just doing an apprenticeship and you can go so much higher into the business.